Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually a Etsy store product review of Southern Girl Stitcher project bags. Southern Girl Stitcher is Maria Hyatt. She actually contacted me on Facebook, I want to say, and asked if she could send me some project bags to review. Absolutely. You guys know my fixation, my obsession with anything gadgetry, gadget, gadgety for stitching, especially project bags. So she wrote me a little letter because I told her if she could do a little write up that I could read, that would help. So she made a project bag and a smaller bag that can be used for cosmetics or for small on the go projects. She has an Etsy store and a Facebook page. Now here is how it came packaged. She sent me two needle minders, which I love these needle minders. Let's open this up so I can show you guys closer. Look at the sweeties. Oh my God. And then Paris. Yeah. Don't have those. Don't even have any metal ones like that. So love those. And on the back is her information. You can see Facebook and Etsy, Instagram, email. She even put her phone number there. Okay. Both her Etsy store and her Facebook page are listed under Southern Girl Stitcher. I will find those links and I will link them in the description box below. She lists finished bags on Etsy. Her Facebook page has finished bags and fabric that she has on hand to make other bags. She says, I am not able to personalize finished bags. So if you would like the bag personalized, it would be better for her, better for you to go through her Facebook page and pick the fabric and then she can personalize it. And if, if you do not see something that you like, you can message her and she will try to find whatever you're looking for. So let's take a peek. At what she sent. Okay, so the first bag, oh, look at that, oh my god, she told me she was going to put my name on it, I just didn't realize that, oh, this is beautiful, it's, it's pretty thick, like really good quality, and man, she's a, she's a good sewer, look at that, look how straight that zipper is. So it has a little pool on it. I like that. It's beaded. And then inside, oh, God, this is beautiful, Maria. This is totally beautiful. So this will expand. See how I can push that out? Oh, I love this. So teal on the inside, and it even has this little strap, which you can take off, by the way, if you don't want to carry it like that. All you got to do is pull it off. Oh, I love this. You have no, I was, I'm so, I love it. Okay. So the project bags are on average 13 by 13, but I can make smaller or larger if requested by customers. The bags start at $22 without a name. They are $3 extra for the name. So if you want your name like this, it's $3 extra. The small project cosmetic bags Oh, this is the smaller one. The small project cosmetics bags are on average seven inches tall. The top is 12 inches and the bottom of the bag is nine and a half by three. This bag starts at $15 without the name and $18 with the name. All bags have beaded zipper pulls, which I showed you that and it went inside the bag. Cosmetic bags have handle straps that can be removed. So yeah, this is the cosmetic bag, but you know, I would use this for a small project or for like when I go to my retreats in May, I like to carry a bag that has like thread heaven, scissors, extra needles, um, stuff that I may need. This would be a perfect size bag for that. So let's look at the other one because this is fantastic. This is totally fantastic. I love that it has my name on it. Okay, so this is gonna be the project bag. <gasps> oh my God, I love 
love the fabric. Oh my God, she put Stitcherista on that one. Oh, wow. These are, oh my God. I know I'm gushing. I love these. Maria, thank you so much. That is so awesome. I do not have a bag with Stitcherista on it. And in purple, no less. Okay. So let me look at the project bag info again because I read that out of order. They're on average 13 by 13, so these would probably comfortably fit an 8 by 8 coup snap, I'm sure. See, and I stitch um, really well made. These are really thick. Her seams are perfect. The zippers are great. I, you know, I'm in awe of people that can make bags like these because... Oh, look, and there's the bell pull, the beaded... I, I am not a sewer. I'm a cross stitcher. I am not a sewer. So I stitch with hoops mainly. I don't ha usually have anything on Q-snaps anymore. Hoops would definitely fit in this. Oh, I love this so much. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> These are fantastic. I just, so here are both of them together. There's the thing I pulled off. Maria, you are a fantastic seamstress. These are wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, I will link all of her things below. Her Etsy shop, her Facebook. And I will also put her email and everything and Instagram. So you guys can go check these out. Because holy crap, these are some wonderful bags. So if you have any questions, as always... Please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you have other questions about the bags, however, you can email Maria or contact her on her Facebook or Etsy page. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.